There was a conference call held uh, with Congressman Perriello uh, that was organized by his uh, re-election campaign committee, uh, but it was murky as to whether it was constituent services or campaigning. And uh, since it was uh, inv invite only, uh, only told to those who receive Albemarle County Democrat Committee uh, emails, uh, I want to ask you, given the murky area where is it constituent service or is it campaigning, uh, do you use campaign? Campaign funds at all times, or where possible, do you use uh, your office funds to what uh, could be determined to be a campaigning uh, event like this uh, teleconference? Well, I think that uh, any time that you're dealing with uh, with legislative business, any time that you're, you're talking to your constituents about 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 uh, about legislation that's pending before Congress, before the General Assembly, it seems to me that that would be be a, a legislative expense. Um, however, I, you know, I, I think, um, at least in, in my experience in the Virginia General Assembly, there's nothing that, that, that prevents you from, from using campaign uh, dollars to, 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 to get out, out your message um, uh, or to, to help supplement, supplement your ability to get out your message. And, and I think a lot of times that probably helps, helps uh, defray, defray costs. I think that the key thing, though, is is that you don't have, and this is extremely important, that you don't have uh, legislative employees, uh, people who work for the government, doing campaign work. And I think that that's that is absolutely critical. Uh, and likewise, I don't think that the that the, the the tax dollars should ever be used in any way um, for for campaign purposes.